My name is Olivia Coleman and I am patron of Anthony Nolan. On the 2nd of December, Anthony would have celebrated his 50th birthday. Tragically, he never found the matching donor he needed and he died when he was just seven years old. But since his mum, Shirley, launched the world's first stem cell register in 1974, Anthony's story has given the hope of a life-saving transplant to thousands of people with blood cancer or a blood disorder. Holly's son, Rupert, was given a second chance of life, which has inspired her to share her story. We had a, a bunch of pictures taken just before going into hospital because we didn't know what was going to happen. Sorry, but we didn't know what was going to happen and we wanted some memories. And that's one of the uh, iconic pictures now of when he oh, yes. first came in. And, um, yeah. he, and he was watching something on the television and Rupert was feeling really rubbish. Uh, yeah, it wasn't well at all. And we didn't notice until afterwards that they were holding hands. Oh, so okay, no, sorry. Sweet boys. There they are. <laughs> Yellow he is. Gosh, yeah. What did he call himself? Yellow banana? Uh, yellow banana alien. Hey. But there he See? is. Crying again. What amazing little lad. Love, Anthony Nolan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they saved Rupert's life. It's just... Yeah. I can never, I can never do enough for them. And I suppose with the more research, the more funding, the more successful those transplants are. But without them, this wouldn't have happened. No. Um, I know, I can never thank her enough. I so wish she was still here. You know, I would love to be able to go and thank her personally. That's Billy. Oh my God, we have to talk about Billy. Two years from this transplant, you are allowed to contact your donor. So I wrote and I gave them my details and then back popped, I think it was just his email address and his name. And I remember going, Billy Higgins. Billy Higgins, it was just have a name, Billy Higgins. And it was just, <laughs> oh gosh, sort of such a cool name as well. I remember the moment so well, and giving him a hug. And oh, how lovely. I hugged him and I was just like, and then I went, can I hug you again? And just had to hug him again. <laughs> what do you say what can you physically say I mean I never forget how I felt that day yeah. of meeting him and giving him that hug give Rupert a great big kiss hold his face great big kiss from me okay I'll, I'll tell him that because he'll go Ey. and to you great big great big kiss to you as well lots of love please support Anthony Nolan there's still a long way to go before every patient can survive blood cancer and live well after a stem cell transplant, you can make sure that Anthony's life-saving legacy lives on for the next 50 years and beyond.